Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce some of the greatest flyers in the history of aviation. The women flyers who are going to be contestants in the great National Women's Air Derby from Cloverfield to Cleveland. Blue skies smiling at me. Nothing but blue This group of women that flew this air race in 1929 are the most under-recognized and under-appreciated women in the history of aviation. All the women paved the way for the women today. Women were some of the earliest aviators, and there were others that, you know, that you don't read about or hear about as much. Atta girl, wave your hand, Ruth. Just amazing. And doing this air racing clear across the country. I mean, when you think about it, 20 in the 20s, that's just, that's 80 years ago. That's amazing. Nothing but blue skies from now on. There are those who have always dreamed of flying through the clouds, touching the breath of heaven and listening to the wind share its secrets. None embodied this dream more than the 20 women pilots who raced across the sky from Santa Monica, California to Cleveland, Ohio, competing in the first Women's National Air Derby. The year is 1929. Wall Street will crash soon, but for now the roaring 20s are in full swing. It is a time of prosperity and possibility. Aviation technology is developing at a rapid pace. Pilots are pushing themselves and their planes higher and faster. The public's fascination with aviation is also growing at a rapid pace. Aviation was something people were very interested in and would often go to the airports just to watch the uh, planes take off and land. You have to remember that during the time of this event, the Graf Zeppelin was about ready to set off on its world tour. So aviation was very much part of the culture being talked about. There was tremendous interest in it. Pilots were becoming more experienced and needed a new outlet to test their skills and the potential of the planes. Air racing became that outlet. It fed the public's appetite for flying and challenged the pilots to test the planes as well as their flying skills. It was out of this fascination with aviation that the national air races developed. By 1929, the event promised to attract thousands of spectators to Cleveland, Ohio, where that year's races were to be held. Air racing was still very much a man's game. Women were not allowed to be part of this fraternity. There was a, a very great reluctance on the part of men to have women enter the field of racing. I mean, it was considered more dangerous. Women didn't race planes, so it was very unusual to have an air race with women in it. But that's where all the fun was. Aviation enthusiast and philanthropist Elizabeth McQueen was so enamored with women's potential in aviation that she founded the Women's International Association of Aeronautics. Recognizing the importance of promoting women pilots, McQueen met with Cliff Henderson, managing director of the National Air Races, in May 1929, about having a women's cross-country air derby during the time of the National Air Races. Always the promoter, Henderson seized upon the idea. From this meeting, the first Women's National Air Derby was born. Cliff Henderson, who was the organizer of the National Air Races, he decided, and very smartly so, that to get publicity for the National Air Races, that if he had a woman's race along with the men's races that were already scheduled, that that probably was going to get a lot of public attention. He was a promoter. And he just figured it was the best possible way to get crowds at the air races. The Derby was just one of about three cross-country 
events that were happening at that time that were timed to coordinate with the opening of the national air races in Cleveland. There was a men's cross-country race from Miami to Cleveland, and there was another one from Toronto to Cleveland. And then there was the Women's Air Derby. Every newspaper had big headlines about the women's race and the progress of it, and the little excerpts about what was going on with the two men's races would be somewhere in the back pages. <laughs>